derive is to drift. To leave without destination in order to discover some new experience of place and landscape. But what does drifting mean within a city centre? Is it possible to follow the hidden paths and routes beneath us all to some new, undiscovered place, or to dance on the brink of an unknown future, as the author John Wyndham suggested? The pathways today are made for us, but they do not lead to a new experience. To derive is to defy. But will is needed to fight off the new signposts and the new causeways. They direct us, persuade us, guide our legs and minds towards something tangible. A character of John Wyndham's surmised it succinctly as the demented mania of owning things. It is now the only pathway we are permitted to walk in comfort. But what if we wish to discover something else? To find a place for the sake of place? We derive to find new realms and now, to avoid the paths of convergence, the walker must step away from the centre, to the outskirts, the brown fields, the empty shells of forgotten streets places where commerce is only a distant rumble. Find a nice, self-sufficient hilltop and fortify it, wrote John Wyndham in The Crock and Wakes. It won't be long before the potential of these wild places reawakens the beast as it moves slowly across the city in search of new prey. An empty tower block, evolving slowly into flats of luxury, is already ridden with steel tendrils. Down the road, however, a derelict street resides. The roots still grow through. Even the places where the creative evergreens grew are under threat. The pathway is once again constrained and defined in the name of progress. The tentacles of the monster loom large over the skeletons of its victims, past, present and future. And back again to the centre of this landscape, allowing its geography to dictate your direction. They aspired greedily, and then refused to face the responsibilities they had created, wrote John Wyndham in The Chrysalids. The people wander around dazed, bewitched by the midwitch cuckoos, as they are distracted from the gradual disintegration of identity. The identikit city, with all of its false promises, the will is sapped, and there is little resistance. The brick wall. I must think of a brick wall. To derive is to find what was already there anew. But what happens when the prize at the end of the road becomes the same as every road, every city, every time. The same names, the same places. Beyond cataclysm, our spaces revert to the past tense. The pathways move for us, and we do not question where they are taking us. We simply follow to the end of the artery until as the steps melt slowly away into the scarred earth, the Kraken awaits.